What's up guys, this is Timmy from YardPlace.com and I'm going to start something new every Friday. Now this is going to be pretty cool, I think. Uh, this is going to be a lot of news and a lot of websites to go through. Now I picked out five websites that are really good. Um, Mashable.com, ModMyEye, uh, MacRumors, uh, this one's MGR.com, um, I really don't get that, and uh, Engadget. Now I picked five articles from those five websites, so one article per website, and I'm going to talk about f one thing out of each out of each website every Friday. So this is going to be the five news Friday. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Skype video calling coming to mobile devices soon. Now, basically in this article they're talking about is that on April 2009 they released the very first Android, uh, not the Android application, the Skype application for the iPhone. Now, I don't know when it was released on Android. I don't think it is released on Android. But I do know that uh, in April 2009 the application was released, which I do have right here. Let me just go ahead and launch it. You can see right here. Um, it's giving me a warn warning that to be on 3.0. Wow, this needs an update. Um, so we're just going to exit that. So basically, what they're talking about is they're going to bring Skype to Facebook. So they'll make a Facebook application on Facebook and launch it, and so you can basically video chat uh, on Facebook uh, to a mobile PC or Mac, or you can FaceTime from Facebook to a mobile device. Now I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't think that's what they're planning on doing. But I do know is what they're saying on Mashable.com is that basically they're going to do uh, mobile to mobile and PC to mobile video calling. So what we do, um, I can FaceTime or not FaceTime, I can Skype someone right now from my iPhone 4 to another iPhone 4. Or if I wanted to do it from an iPhone 4 to a computer, um, that would be pretty cool. So I hope you've seen this uh, be released soon. They're saying during CES January 6, 2011, we'll have more information about that. Now the second article we're going to talk about is Mod My Eye. Now Mod My Eye is basically a jailbreaking community uh, uh, website, so more jailbreaking uh, information on this website. But I just want to talk about this one right here. Now Mod My Eye is uh, posting an article talking about the 2011 iPad. This is basically the iPad 2. Basically, what they're talking about is going to be a landscape device that uh, is going to be on landscape. So at the bottom right corner will be the headphone jack. And on the right side would be the volume up and down, and above that on the top would be the uh, sleep lock button, and uh, on the other side would be the camera for the back, and the, the uh, camera in the middle on the front. Now, I don't think that's basically going to happen, that it's going to be in landscape like that. I really do think that Apple's going to keep it uh, straight up and down, vertical, on the uh, iPad. But uh, they're basically saying that, that it should be released in uh, 2011. With two cameras for FaceTime, five visible camera on the rear, and uh, I think believe VGA on the front. Um, they're talking about uh, a new law coming around saying that every mobile tablet device should have a USB port. Now, since Apple uses 30 pin dock connectors, their 30 pin, 30 pin dock connector um, that no one else can use, um, they're going to um, put a port for many. A USB device or mini of uh, VGA or some kind of mini uh, USB on the side of it for that purpose reasons. Now I don't think that's really going to happen since Apple has their 30 pin dock connector but we don't know yet what Apple's going to do on that. Now, the next one we're going to talk about is Engadget.com. Um, Engadget is posting an article on the 24th, uh, it's actually today, uh, 1 12 uh, a.m basically talking about connect now basically there's been some hacks over the few weeks that uh, connect has uh, been hacked now people are to figure out how to use the actual motion signal and uh, moving of everything and integrating it into their own application um, basically what they're talking about is boxy actually got a hold of a connect and figure out how to um, integrate the connect with boxy and uh, so you can use your hands to motion around in boxy on the mobile application uh, things like that. So we might see something on with Connect and uh, the Boxy application. It's saying they're saying that it's still in beta. Um, there's actually uh, a YouTube video about it right here. 
um, showing off the connected boxing and stuff like that. I don't know that much about it since I don't have an Xbox or a Kinect or anything like that. So I can't really tell you that much, but I just wanted to talk about this really quick because I thought that was actually pretty cool. Uh, saying that Boxy and Connect are trying to work together or they got to connect and they're trying to figure out how to do this so you can do that. But the whole Connect feature is actually pretty cool because you can actually move your hands around and stuff like that. And integrating that with uh, Boxy is going to be pretty cool. Now, if only YouTube can actually do that also so we can use the Connect on a TV with an Xbox and actually watch YouTube videos by swiping with hand or moving your hand around. I really do think that Connect is going to be the next big thing uh, for, other, for other people also using our hand signals so we don't have to use a mouse or keyboard or anything like that and it's all going to be digitized in the uh, future. So this is basically the, uh, the future of 2020. Uh, so we're all going to do it. We're all going to be lazy and sit on our butts and just sit on the TV and just go wee things like that. So hope you guys enjoyed. This was the uh, 5 News Friday. Uh, I don't know an actual name of it yet. I'm still trying to figure out a name, but I'm calling it 5 News Friday. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next Friday.